Now with an ABC News exclusive, Michelle Obama's brother, Craig Robinson, and his wife, Kelly, are suing a private school in Milwaukee, alleging that it expelled their two young sons after the Robinsons raised concerns about racial and social economic bias at the school. We're going to talk to them both live in just a moment, but first, Steve Osinsami has more details for us. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to Robin. One of the things that started all of this was a classroom assignment that the parents say they only happened to hear because classes were virtual and the kids were at home. It's considered one of the top private schools in America. And in this YouTube video, the school posted at the start of the school year, they share their key ideals. On a culture built upon the common trust, we are a diverse community of learners, leaders, and citizens and we have much to offer one another. But this morning, the University School of Milwaukee is facing a lawsuit with accusations of racism and breach of contract from two of its most famous parents. Michelle Obama is my little sister. Craig Robinson and Mrs. Kelly Robinson. Craig Robinson, seen here at the White House, is the brother of former First Lady Michelle Obama, making him the brother-in-law of a president. He and his wife, Kelly, say that administrators kicked their children out of the pre-K through 12 school after the parents complained about racial discrimination. The Robinsons are now suing, saying that the school retaliated against their family after they submitted two separate reports in January and March 2021 to the school, concerned about what they felt was racial and ethnic stereotypes in virtual classroom assignments. After conversations and emails, the parents were stunned on April 14th, 2021, when the school told them it was dismissing their fifth grader and then their third grader on June 21st, 2021. The complaint cites a letter the school wrote that claimed the parents repeatedly engaged in disrespectful and demanding communications with and about our teachers and administrators. It has only become more evident that there has been a complete breakdown in your family's trust of and respect for USM. The kids were just 9 and 11 years old, and their parents have asked us to blur their faces. Even the school says they were model students, calling them, quote, portraits of a graduate. But now the school says they'll need to graduate somewhere else. We reached out to the school, and they tell us that they weren't served the lawsuit, and instead their law firm was. And without time to review it, they tell us they have no comment at this point. Robin. Steve, thank you. Craig and Kelly Robinson are joining us now live from Milwaukee. Good morning to you both. And we know this is very important to you and that we heard in Steve's report that it started because you were overhearing your children's assignments while they were learning virtually. Craig, what specifically were you hearing that first concerned you, Craig? Well, Robin, and thanks for having us on and, and congratulations on your 20 years with GMA. Um, uh, you know, the, this, this all started as, as a lot of parents. We heard what was going on in the classroom uh, because of COVID. And um, there were repeated use of racial and ethnic stereotypes um, that were in actual assignments. Uh, the use of the word plantation, um, and and uh, things of that nature. In addition to the racial e and ethnic stereotypes, there there was an ins insensitivity to socioeconomic status, uh, and, and and as well as a disregard for um, the children who weren't physically in the classroom. And and all of this, we found we we thought, okay, maybe we'll have a communication with them and give them some suggestions. And uh, once we gave them those suggestions and, and, and had a little bit of a back and forth, they summarily dismissed our young children, retaliating against them because of the issues that we brought up. And after you started talking about this and accused the school of bias, uh, Kelly, did you hear from other parents and, and former students? Yes, we did, Robin. In fact, um, this story resonated with many families in the community and former University School of Milwaukee families reached out to us and we were not aware initially of how far reaching this was and we heard stories of other families being retaliated against. We also heard about um, other biases that have been shared over the years and while um, we heard biases and we what we would like to point out is the egregious nature in which they handled this with us and with our young boys but one of the stories um, 
that we weren't made aware of was that just as recent as 10 years ago, the University School of Milwaukee had in their fourth grade curriculum that students reenacted the Underground Railroad and students dressed up as slaves and ran through the school in the dark and the teachers were actually the slave masters who captured these students. And hearing these stories um, and understanding the pain that other families have gone through are one of the reasons why we wanted to come forward with this story. And knowing how uh, one of the other stories uh, uh, that we heard was about how a the the black students um, seem to get more harsh punishments than whites the white counterparts in particular a student using the n-word um, may be considered a good student or come from a good family and their punishment is not as harsh as other students in particular students of color and Kelly this so there have been many stories we I'm sorry this led you to file I'm sorry this led you to file a bias incident report with the school what was their initial response to those reports? Correct. The University School of Milwaukee had a bias incident reporting system that they set up last year. So our first, the first bias um, that we had noticed, we did, I did put a report in and I was told that the reporting system was not working. And then um, the next was a conversation with the head of school who told me that this was in fact not a bias and challenged our, mm. um, our, our bias. And so, then um, each other time following when any bias was reported, instead of acknowledging and working to uh, make this better, um, they ended up dismissing our, our students. And what you should know is we did partner with the head of school all year. In fact, he asked for our feedback. He wanted to know because we had this bird's eye view into our students' learning. So. He asked to share stories with him. We, we met with him on Zoom with other families. We had phone conversations with him. In fact, at one point, he even told me that I should be on his payroll because of the amount of information that I had provided to him. He said, because he was new, I had given him his marching orders for the next five years of what he needed to do to make this a better place for all students. And in fact, at one point, as I was sharing information with him, he said, well, I'll use this information, but I'll never give you credit. And while that wasn't what we were doing it for, what we wanted was for them to make change. And instead of, of doing the right thing and helping these students, they dismissed our young and sons. So, and, but it, Craig, you, you have said that you, you had a great relationship and, and what Kelly was referring to as well with the school previously. But as we heard in, and, and read in one of the letters, the school accused you, Craig, of repeatedly engaging in disrespectful and demanding, demeaning communication uh, with teachers and administrators, and that there was a breakdown of your trust and respect for the school. So what's your response to that, Craig? Well, I, Robin, I gotta tell you, I don't really have a response for that. I mean, if you ask anybody in the community, both Kelly and I are partners with teachers and we advocate for teachers. And, uh, you, know, you know, so I, I don't have any idea uh, where that comes from. But what I will tell you is that we, we're moving forward with this for a couple of reasons. We want to hold the University School of Milwaukee uh, 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 accountable to, to not just our two children who they retaliated against, but more importantly, there's a whole community of people who are out there that we, we wouldn't feel right if this happened moving forward. So. Uh, th those are two of the main reasons. And then the third reason is this needs to stop and change, and this will help all students at the University, of, of, uh, the University School of Milwaukee. Right. And I just want to say on that, I have always been an involved parent at the school, and they appreciated that. I worked closely with teachers. I was a part of the classroom in helping the teachers in previous years, not last year. but. Um, we were well respected in the community. I was a very active participant in the, the Parents Association as well as a middle school and lower school advisory council. So this was not something that was ever expected and we were never disrespectful. I have a background in education. I appreciate the work that teachers have done, especially during the pandemic. Well, we know that your sons are in a different school now and we hope that they are doing well. Craig and Kelly, thank you. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.